The girlfriend of the Connecticut man whose estranged wife vanished months ago turned herself into police on Thursday, just a day after the man was arrested and charged with an additional count of tampering with or fabricating evidence related to the disappearance of his wife, Jennifer Dulos. Connecticut State Police confirmed to Fox News that the girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, will face additional charges in the missing woman case, but did not specify what they were. Fotis Dulos has maintained his innocence regarding his estranged wife's disappearance, despite newly released evidence and police interviews in which Troconis allegedly admitted she had not been truthful when they had questioned her previously. Michelle is presumed innocent and she should be, said her attorney, Andrew Bowman, on Thursday, we're letting the judgment in this case rest in the jury's hands. Police said Fotis Dulos apparently had been lying in wait at his wife's home, according to the 43-page warrant application for Dulos obtained by Fox News on Wednesday. Police claimed the crime and cleanup occurred between 8:05 a.m. and 10:25 a.m. May 24, the day she vanished. Dulos, after he was released on $500,000 bond Wednesday, told reporters, "It's an exhausting fight." I love my children. Traconis allegedly told police in an AUG. 13 interview that she had not seen Dulos on the morning of May 24, contradicting prior statements, and revealed that she was with Fotis Dulos when he cleaned, spilled coffee out of a truck he was driving that morning. She admitted the stained towel he had been using to clean the truck did not smell like coffee at all, according to the arrest warrant for Dulos. Traconis allegedly told police she believed he had his truck washed because the body of his wife was, at some point, in there. Our hearts go out to Ms. Traconis. We are confident that she will, in the end, tell the truth at trial, Dulos attorney, Norm Pattis, told Fox News in a statement Wednesday. The state is a terrifying enemy, but a clean conscience is a powerful ally. Pattis said his client would plead not guilty to new charges against him when he scheduled to appear in court on September 12. Dulos and Traconis were first arrested in early June and pleaded not guilty to Tovidan's tampering and hindering prosecution. They were released on bail. Both have denied any involvement in the disappearance of Jennifer Dulos. Jennifer Dulos' body has yet to be found over three months after she dropped her kids off at school in New Canaan, never to be heard from again. Fotis and Jennifer Dulos were in the midst of a bitter divorce and custody battle over their five children three boys and two girls ranging in ages from 8 to 13. In the wake of her disappearance, a judge granted Jennifer's mother, Gloria Farber, custody of the couple's children, Fotis Dulos, who was under GPS monitoring, was prohibited from having contact with the kids. Fox News' Laura Ingle and Maria Peronich contributed to this report.